Okay, so one of the very common things that we do in bioinformatics is to download gene sequences from NCBI. And what we are going to do today is to download all the coding sequence. That means given the genome, how do I download everything? Okay. <clears throat> so let's say I want to download, uh, uh, let me share my screen first. Let's say if I want to download um, uh, sequence, okay? So first I'll go to NCBI web page. It's www.ncbi.nlm, National Library of Medicine, NIH, National, Lib National Institute of Health, GOV, slash NU core, N-U-C-C-O-R-E. So let's say um, I can only download chromosome by chromosome. So let's say if I want to download bacterial genome, Okay, I'll, I'll do this. Say that I want to download Escherichia coli. So I'll put in Escherichia coli. Okay, and complete genome. Okay, because for most bacterial cells, they have only one chromosome. So by then I will download everything. If I want to download, say humans, I have to repeat this process 23 times for each chromosome. So what I'll do is I will only want to find the, the phrase Escherichia coli in the title and complete genome also in the title. Okay, so I'll just search for it. And here just gives me a whole listing. Okay, so if I look at the, the size, 4 million bases, 4.6 million bases, that's actually the entire genome. Okay. okay, so let's say if I want to download this string, strain 58.3 slash 58-3. So what I do is I will go and get the number one item that I want to download first, which is the gym bank record. So the gym bank record, I just have to click into it. This will give me the entire gym bank record. You can see that um, it's downloading a huge sequence because there's about four um, megabases to download. Okay. So this is called a gym bank record. So this format is called gym bank record. Okay, so you download a sequence, you just keep downloading. So how do I save this GMAN record? Number one is I have to note this thing called the version number because the version number will give me the URL as well. Okay, so this is very important. So I make sure I copy down this version number in order to come back to this page. In order to download the GMAN record, it's very simple. I just have to click this send to, the send to button, complete record, okay? Because complete record is bank. complete record, go to file, okay? And then I want to download the gym bank full record, not just a gym bank record, the gym bank full record, okay? So then I click on create file. When I click on create file, something will be downloaded inside my, um, download folder okay so if i go all the way down um okay. you will see that if i show sequences okay you see that okay there's a lot of information up here okay so let, let's just finish first okay because it's, it's almost like repeating a whole process of downloading okay So I come back to here, wait for it to finish. Now this GB, one, once it's finished, this GB dot part will disappear. Okay, okay, now, so what I do is I will immediately change from sequence.gb into the version, okay, version.gb file. So change it into version. Okay, so this is very useful for me. Now, this is the GMBAN record ready. Because GMBAN record is essentially a text file. It's about 10 megabases now, or 10 megabytes, because it contains 4 megabytes of sequences, 4.6 megabytes of sequences, and 6 megabytes of words and notations. So we can open it up. Here I open it in my Sublime text, and we have the entire GMBAN record, which is what you see here. So you can scroll all the way down. The sequences, this is the sequence. So sequence from base number one, 
it's not easy to scroll. Okay, sequence form. Anyway, you get from base number one all the way to um, 4.6 million. So this is your GMAN record done. Okay. So the next thing we want usually is we want to download all the coding sequence. That means um, here, for example, it tells us, okay, the CDS. CDS means coding sequences from base number one to base number 1404. It is the gene is called DNA, DNA A. Okay. And then it is translated, it will be in this. This is a translated amino acid sequence. So can I actually take one at a time? That means I download you know, all the um, each individual CDS as individually. Okay. You'll be very stupid if I want to just go and collect this 1409 to I'll have to do 4,000 times. So can I do everything at one go? Okay, that means all the coding sequence. I can do that. Just simply go to send to again. I will click on coding sequences. Okay, what is the difference between coding sequences and gene features? Coding sequences are all those um, open reading frame that can be translated into proteins. Gene features will include everything else, including your mRNA, including your, um, you know, all the SNPs and so on. Okay, so coding sequence, I want to download as a FASTA format. There are two versions, FASTA nucleotide, okay, because I want to download the DNA sequence for each gene. So I click on FASTA nucleotide, and I create the file. That's it. Okay, then it will appear here again. So what I will do is, my convention is I will use the um, accession number, which is actually a version number. I will change the sequence, the file name from sequence.txt into the accession number and change it to nucleotide. So this is the nucleotide file. I can open it up. So you can see that this is a one FASTA record. The next one, this is another FASTA record. Okay. So remember, our first one is DNA A, starts from location 1 to 1404, takes one from 1409, and so on. So this is all the 4000 plus. Okay. So how do I know? I just go to find and I find this starting carrot. Okay. So it gives me 4,385. So there are 4,385 um, coding sequences. That means genes that can code into proteins. Okay. Now, I can technically translate each one into amino acid sequence, but why do I want to do that? I have to do 4,000 times. Okay. So I will not do that. Instead, if I want to get all the protein sequences, the amino acid sequence, all the peptide sequence, as you call it, I will just go to send to again, coding sequence, and this is the next one, FESTA dot, uh, protein. Okay. So what it really does is, it will actually collect all the translation for me. So I just create. Okay. And just wait for a while, because this is still not too big. Okay. Then I will change this file name into a okay, one. Okay, oops. Okay. I will change this file name into peptide. So I know that this is for nucleotide, this is for peptide. I can then open this file up because it's a text file. And that gives me the um, amino acid sequence. Okay. It also gives me amino acid sequence based on location from 1 to 1404 is DNA A. This is the amino acid, um, DNA N, the next one, amino acid, and so on. So similarly, I have, let me just go back to, uh, and open up this nucleotide as well. So you see, this is DNA A, the next one is DNA N, the third one is REC F. So remember, I have um, 
I have 4385, okay, for my nucleotides. So I will expect, say this is DNA A, this is DNA N, this is F, okay. So similarly, I will expect 4305 as 4385 as well. So it's one to one. Okay. So now basically I've downloaded the entire gene bank record for um E. coli strain strain. What strain do I have? Why is this strain? Let me just go back. E. coli strain 58-3. I also downloaded the coding sequence. I also downloaded all the amino acid sequence. So that's all for today. Have fun.